Hey everybody, how's it going? Doing some pixel art tonight. I'm Justin with Red Battle Wagon. Thanks for stopping by. We're gonna work on some fun stuff today. Let me just throw my Discord into streamer mode. I don't have it automatic for here. But yeah, we're gonna work on some uh, fun little pixel art ideas. Um, continue working on this. I think the last time we were on here live, we worked on this same exact um, piece of work. Just make sure that everything's working. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cool. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna work a little bit on this battle block. What I wanna do is get in here and um, have a few unique variations. I've got some cool ideas of what I can do with it. So um, yeah, I'm kind of excited to play around with it today and just kind of see how I can make it look um, this full thing. Let me see here if I can show the, the preview. We'll go through all of them. Okay, so we just got the idol here. Let's see if I remember how to get it to go through all. It's been a while since I've done a little bit of uh, some of the pixel art. Anyways, we've got um, we got idle from the front, or no front move. Sorry. Then there's front idle. Can't really tell the difference too much. Um, it's just the tracks moving. Got a, a right move, right idle, left move, left idle, uh, back move, back idle. We got jump. Jump, jump from the front, jump from the back. Then we got firing. And then of course death. <clears throat> what I'm thinking of doing is I want to play around with this front move one and change around the faces, check out different colors. Um just see how everything looks. Let's see here. I need to also Clean that up. I'm using my my Twitch overlay setup, so I've kind of just removed some stuff. So yeah, this is the one I want to play with today. And then um, yeah, we'll just kind of go from there. So what I'm thinking of doing is let's see here. We can remove the wheels and remove the track. face for now let's go ahead and remove that blasters now we'll keep the blasters and we don't need the battery obviously so what I want to do is create different colored bodies essentially so I guess I'll remove the blaster for now See, I should have built the transparency on there as part of this lining. That way I could just like throw in red, but I think I can just go ahead and change it pretty easily. Let's see here. So let's duplicate. Let's do a blue one. All right. 
<clears throat> so we'll just worry about front move for right now. I think that's all we're gonna do. Yeah, for now. Let's see. Do you have kind of a palette in here of what I kind of like to use for the blue colors? We'll see how it looks. Let's do this and get it to go across to all of it. it. Might be too dark of a blue, to be honest. Duplicate the blaster. Let's see our properties. Let's make this one red. And the one we just duplicated. Make that one blue. Like I said, I just want to see how many variations I can make. <clears throat> Family's up doing stuff in the other room, so a little bit loud. All right, so if we want, we can pull that that color, that one, but the darker. And so we need to shift on this one and go a little bit lighter. I think that'll work. Should probably just keep the face on just so we can kind of see it. Let's do a green one next. So we'll just keep duplicating up. Do this one green and then let's go ahead and just open up duplicate that turn that one off properties okay we'll unlock both of those now, I don't want to go as crazy a green that I've done before because that's like the battery itself. But let's see. Let's just see what that looks like. <laughs> Gotta be on the correct box. That'd be helpful. That's not a bad green. Let's go with like a darker shade right there. 
Oh. Help if I select the blaster itself. That's a fun, that's a fun color green. Yeah, I think that works. All right, so then let's see. Duplicate. Oh, you know what? I have to do these across each one of the frames. So, well, I can go and do that after I decide the basic colors and I can just go through each, and just go right through them. All right, so let's do, um, let me do a purple. Unlock that. Duplicate it here, and then properties. <clears throat> All right, I really like this color purple that I've been using really fun and then I think yeah that's the darker variant oh, stop doing that and that one oh That looks pretty good. All right. Hopefully my mic is coming across okay. I still haven't tested it, but uh... I had been pulling apart some wires, so I'm hoping everything sounds okay. If not, enjoy watching me change colors on a battle block. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Uh, let's lock that. And duplicate. Let's go with like a yellow. shade yeah that looks all right then we'll go to the plaster or on the darker one a little higher um, that looks good Duplicate. 
Let's make orange. I don't know if that's... Hmm. There we go, it's like a deeper orange. There we go. I like that color orange. Pretty good. Do the lighter one. We got some stream beats by Harris Heller playing right now. Always the best. I appreciate him in every way. It's good stuff. Cool. So we got orange. How does it look if we like mix and match? <laughs> colors. Do some with weapons, some without, you know. Like a, a light blue or a cyan type color. What was that? Hmm. Sound like fireworks going off. All right. So let's see. Duplicate again. It's like over and over. You're watching some fun stuff here. All right, so let's see here. Let's say light blue. We need to make it a little bit lighter when that time comes. Works. I like it. Looks good. pink one I think yeah need a pink color
It's almost like a like a magenta type color. Let's see. Let's see how it looks. Let's get in there. Not cool. Alright. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. That looks good. So we've got all of the basic colors, I think. So what we can probably do is then go back through and add the colors to each one of the um, the layers in this, because as you can see, it's not across the board. So let's see here. So we'll do blue first. eyedropper that I'm sure there's a faster way to do this but it's just because all the animations are already done you know don't really want to screw it up That's fine. I don't mind taking my time. I you know. Makes for a really uh, boring live stream. I get it. So, one of the things behind my thought process on this is, um, you know, I'm really enjoying creating these characters. And I'm trying to find better ways to kind of just, um, you know, spread the love with it and whatnot. And, so I'm actually thinking about turning these into an NFT. So that'd be kind of cool if I can pull something like that off. It'd be fun to be able to share this with everybody. Should have just done this from the get go. Oh well. You live and you learn. Alright, so all the blue is done. green I think they're a little bit bigger so I can see the names so unlock green unlock green Kind of scary, like, oh no, am I gonna change everything? Right. Oh, 
let's go block that. And then we'll go to the green blaster. Let's go ahead and start with shadow. Work our way up. Yeah, I really like these characters. So I made this one to be a little bit more detailed than the ones I usually use. Um, the whole purpose, because I just wanted to see kind of what I can do with it. Um, when I was adding it into the games, like it would just, details weren't showing up. So a um, little too detailed for the, the games I was trying to build and all the other stuff, but it's a good, um, you know, prototype of what the battle blocks look like. Um, so this is the foundation of the characters, really. It's what I love about these images right here. It's, it's really the foundation of everything. Purple. Uh, Said I love that color. I think this purple and red look pretty good together. That's why I use it on my, um, like all my social, social media stuff. It's a fun combination. It's probably not proper color theory, but. It's all about how much I like it, right? Makes me feel good. Oh, we should do a, a, ba a black battle block too. Black and gray. We'll do that at the end. That'd be cool. Really, I like making these little gifts. They're pretty fun. Gifts, gifs, whatever you want to call them. colors going on here. Said, there's probably a faster way to do this I don't know any of the shortcuts to be honest like I just never taken the time to learn them you know or just the proper technique to to go through and modify some work like this and this might be the fastest way to be honest but I find it nice and relaxing this is my idea of a Saturday night <laughs> Yeah, the, you know, the website and um, all other social media platforms definitely gone through a change throughout, you know, the last year or so. It's really come down to, I'm really enjoying creating, ooh, these little characters. Um, I just want to find more ways to kind of share them with everybody. So that's kind of the goal. Let's find better ways to share them 
Get them out there to people. For the orange. Red and the orange kind of look cool together. See if I would have, if I would have been smarter about it, I would have thought about this ahead of time, and I would have made the lining and the shadows an overlay to go over just a just a background color. That would have been the the best way to do this. So that was just foresight and technical oversight, really, which I'm okay with, you know. But now I know if I'm going to be making <clears throat> a bunch of these that I want to change the color of later on. It's one way to do it, you know, uh, work smarter, not harder, right? That's the key. You should do like a, a jack-o'-lantern face for the orange one. Fun. Didn't take as long as I thought it would. Pretty quick so far. Luckily, I didn't go too crazy on like how many frames is this. <laughs> Six frames ain't too bad. And all these colors look pretty cool with the red. It's different. Almost, this pink color almost makes like a good mid-tone for the, the red.
sweet. All right, so it's working out all right. So we wanted to do a like a black and a gray. I think that would be cool. Duplicate. Do a gray one first. Let's see, what color do we want to pick for this? So we've already got kind of a gray here. So if we... Let's see if we grab this. Let's go lighter. Right, like that. I think that works pretty good. I think instead of having like a fully, like, no, that's, I think we might be able to do a black one, to be honest. Let's see. It's just, I'm, I'm wondering if the lining will get washed out if we go too dark with the color. But we'll see. I'd like to get one on here. Okay, let's do that color first. So this has been like a labor of love. It's taken me a long time to create these little battle blocks just over time, you know? It's been pretty, really cool seeing them come together. Yeah, that looks good. All right, let's see if we can go darker and get more of a black colored one. That'd be cool. Shifting this all. I think we'll just shift it down. And then, if we need to go a little bit darker, that one. I 
That's good to do these highlights first because it's like I can't really remember which one's the shadow, which one's not. That looks pretty good. All right, so that was the regular body color. So I'm gonna come up here and do body color that. And then that one. Then we wanna go a little bit lighter. Let's see how that one looks with the wheels and tracks on. It's not bad. That looks pretty good. I like that. Alright. Oh yeah, I think we've got enough base body colors on here. Sit here and mix and match. It's pretty cool. Do background on here. Thank you. 
we go. Transition between colors. Kind of just climb up the scale here. Pretty cool. Wondering if I should make the canvas size a little smaller. I should probably save what we're doing. <laughs> that would be smart. Let's let's actually save that what hours worth of work. Almost hours worth of work of changing colors. Yeah, let's save that. That would be good. <laughs> Jeez. That would have been bad. Let's see. Canvas size. Just trying to think like what's a good size. I'm at minus 40. It makes it a square. Let's see. It's a little bit of a cleaner look to it. That mess with my jumps for the shooting. Yeah, it's actually not bad. <clears throat> so that works. See how the background looks all black. Nothing seemed like you got smuts on your screen there, you know? <laughs> Jeez, I thought I got an extra pixel in there somewhere. Jeez. Okay.
Alright, what other colors? Backgrounds. I should just kind of... Just keep them all clean with white backgrounds for right now. I think I might just keep it simple. I like it. Cool. Yeah, so like I said, um, my biggest goal was just to come on here and, and play around with the colors tonight. Um, like I said, this is something I've been working on for a while with the battle blocks. I'm really looking at ways to kind of just share this kind of love of making these things with everybody. So um, keep an eye out. You know, we might might launch an nft here soon and uh have it where you can own your very own piece of art a battle block you know be kind of cool that would allow me to be able to make other things like you know maybe some video games eventually or um some children's books or you know just other little pieces of art here and there so it's part of a bigger plan that you know We'll start with the the pieces of art first and i would love to be able to build out more characters and uh a lot of different styles and i think um we can really flush out the world a little bit more especially in the nft space so that might be where we go so stay tuned for that you know that'd be fun but uh thanks for hanging out I know it was just kind of way too relaxed and very chill today, but uh, I at least wanted to get on here and get on alive and um, just show that I'm still working on these. It's, uh, it's been a while, but uh, yeah. I was like, everything cut out for a second. I was like, what's going on? Okay, cool. Um, Again, my name is Justin with Red Battle Wagon. Thanks for hanging out. Um, if you like, go ahead and hit the subscribe uh, button. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. I know I'm just kind of chill today, so it's I can sit here and hype up the video or anything, but uh, uh, hit the bell if you want to be uh, notified whenever we come on here. Uh, hoping to get some more videos out soon, some more you know actual curated content. Um, just kind of going slow with it. It's not a rush. Um, I'm not a professional YouTuber, so they come out when they come out, you know? Uh, yeah, it'll be good. Like I said, I'm thinking, uh, we'll, we'll get these out here soon. And, uh, yeah, I'm really liking, it. I think just simple with the white background. These look okay. I think that's a cool start. We can just switch between the colors. Got all the different colors locked in. Not bad. We'll have more fun with it here. In the coming days, I'm gonna keep working on these. Have some fun. Anyways, have a good night, everybody. See you next time.